Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Today we're going to aggravate the quail just a little bit. Uh, we have two quail pens here next to our chicken coop. These are our egg layers uh, or our breeders uh, for all our meat birds. What we want to do today is get these, this uh, male to female ratio right. Over the full year that we've had these birds, uh, we've had a lot of problems. We've had some got out. Uh, we had a pit bull got into one of our pens, killed some birds. Uh, we've left the door open a time or two. Well, the birds will get out, and so we just sort of grab them and throw them in uh, whichever pen's closest. Uh, and so our ratios got a little out of hand uh, as far as our male to female. You're supposed to have five females for every male. And I'm not sure exactly how well it's set up in there. So we want to go in today, take this dog box. We're going to pull out all the males. Uh, and count how many females we have. I want 20 females per pen with five males per pen. That's my goal for today. And also, if I have any birds that may be beat up or just not looking too healthy, we're going to get them out and put them in the pen where all our meat birds at, and we'll end up processing them probably tomorrow. So stick around. We're going to aggravate some quail. All right, guys, we're in the first pen. And I just want to emphasize again why we do this. Uh, we want our male to female ratio about five, four or five females for every male. And reason being is the males can get really aggressive. They can poke at each other's eyes. Uh, we actually have one that has a, a bad eye now. They can poke each other's eyes. They pull the top of their heads off uh, down to the skull. It's really a sad thing, but uh, the males can get really aggressive. They also get really aggressive to the females and can tend to overbreed uh, you females and really really just pull all the feathers out of the top of the head it's not bothering that bad the feathers will grow back uh, this fall when they stop all the breeding but in the spring and summer they really really get aggressive uh, but what we're going to do is i want to show you guys the difference between a male and a female so if you do uh, if you decide to get quail you can determine one way is to listen for the crow <laughs> the males are the only ones to crow and once they get started they don't stop but it's really a cool little sound and they do it all night too it's really fun but uh, I'll show you guys the difference between a male and a female, and I'll show you what can happen with over-aggressive males. Okay, guys, the first bird I caught was a male, and I'm going to show you all the difference. Uh, I'm going to put them side by side and show you guys the difference, but I want to show you what can happen. Let's see if y'all can see a close-up of that. But they can really just put a beating on each other. But this is a little male here, and he's got a real bad eye, so we're going to get him taken care of. Don't get him taken care of. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all. This is a little female. And I want to show you guys what can happen. It's not really bad, but you can see the back of her head. They'll just start uh, pulling the feathers out when you have too many males. I haven't even counted yet, but I'm, I would think there's probably too many males in here. But she's just getting overbred. Uh, you can see they're just pulling the feathers right out of the top of her head. Not bad. It's just the feathers coming out. She's not hurt or anything, so... She's still a great bird. Now, if I can get them to settle down, I'll show you all the difference. If I can get them to settle down, I'll show you all the difference. Whoops. Let me try again. Let me try, let me try this again. All right, you're going to fly, but you're not going anywhere. You can see the difference in the bellies. See their chest? This one's a male. He has that copper color chest. And this is a female. She has a speckled chest. A little copper. Let me get my... <laughs> Sorry, girl. All right. Would you settle down, buddy? All right. There's the there's the male. And there's the female. This is the male. This is the female. But they're just beautiful birds. Another way you can tell too is look at the back of her head. So we got to get this straightened out, guys. I can sit here and talk and talk and talk. We got to get this uh, little ratio fixed up.
Okay, guys. This has always been the better pen uh, as far as laying eggs go. There's just been a ton of eggs coming out of this pen, and we know why now. There's only six birds in there laying, and I see five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's sixteen females that I actually can count, and only five males. So this pen uh, is set up way better than the other pen. It was five males, and what I can count is in one, three, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. So sixteen or seventeen females in here that I count, uh, and you can tell they're not beat up like the others. They just look great. Let me see. Let me see. I was gonna try to grab one, but they're not all beat up like the others and, and overbred. They're just looking great. This pen is just looking great. It could probably do one or two less males in here. Um, Maybe just put two males in here is what we need for this pen. But I'd like to j raise up the population here. I want 20, uh, 20 females is what I want. So I'll add some more females in here. Make sure I got about four or five males in here, and we'll get this thing straightened out. Uh, looking good, though. Looking great. I already have about seven eggs sitting in the corner now. So let me decide what I want to do. I want to get a final count and decide what I want to do with this pen because this pen here has always been the better pen, and I, and I ha really hate to change things up much. Looking good though. Well, we got the pen just the way we wanted. Uh, we got 20 females and five males. That ought to be a nice, uh, uh, nice ratio for this pen. I think it's just the right amount of quail too. Uh, it's not overcrowded. It's just gonna work out great. Uh, that's enough females to keep us in the eggs, which this one already had a ton of females. We were always getting a lot of eggs out of here. Now, after doing the count, we know why we're not getting so many eggs out of here. It's kind of hard to count them when they're mix matching around and moving around. Every time you move, they move. It's hard to get a good count, so this is the best way to do it. Just pull all your males out, count your females, and then you can figure out how many males you need. So stick around. We're going to jump in the next pen and see if we can't get this one straightened out. guys well that worked out fantastic we got 25 birds in each pen uh, 20 females five males each pen so we got 50 birds total down here it's gonna work out great uh, I can say over a year's time things happen birds get out uh, we got some problems with our chickens we had a fox or something dig a big hole here but the chickens will dig too they'll get up right on the edge of the pen here and scratch so we put in bricks and stuff I put a lot of bricks and stuff try to close holes in but you'll have birds every now and then get out or you forget to close the door uh, and have birds get out. Now, one thing about these Caternix quail, we raise Caternix quail, they're a meat bird. They don't fly. When I say they don't fly, they don't fly like a bob white and fly off into the woods. They'll fly maybe maybe 20 feet, hit the ground, kind of do a little roll because <laughs> they're not good at landing. Uh, and you can probably catch them on the first try, more than likely on the second try as they tire out, and you can pick them up and put them right back in the pen so they're not really that bad. 
and we've noticed that if they get out they will sort of stick around the pen because we found them over in the duck pen we found them out here in the muscadines uh, but over time things happen birds get out and uh, we had somebody had a uh, neighbor had a pit bull that got in tore in one of our pens we had bird we just you just have problems over the year you know and so i think this is a great time uh, now that we got so many birds over this other pen it was a great time to get everything back to the way it's supposed to be 50 birds 25 per pen tons of eggs we've always been getting tons of eggs out of here for the fact we had so many females now we should get the same over here and we got nice young birds we put in here we put 13 in here we put five fresh males plus with the seven females that were already in here so they give us a great 25. Uh, just going to work out great i'm super excited about it uh, we absolutely love our quail i try to encourage everybody to get quail i've given two youtube channels now uh, some quail some friends uh, from alabama some friends from right up the road uh, if you guys are interested in quail try to get in touch with me i'm, I'm horrible about facebook and all that stuff but uh, I always check occasionally to see if I got any messages. <laughs> so you can get in touch with me if you want some quail eggs and stuff, and we'll try to uh, fix y'all up. But I encourage everybody to get in quail. They're super easy to raise, uh, super, super fast growing bird. Uh, get a, eight weeks, you're getting eggs. Our meat pen's already giving us eggs over there. We had processed them well on the eight week mark now, so they're starting to give us eggs now. But uh, just a fantastic, easy bird to raise. They're not loud. You can raise them uh, anywhere in your garage. You could, uh, and you don't have to have this many birds. You can have a couple of little females and have one male if you want to reproduce, uh, re hatch out some more quail. Uh, you can do that, and you don't have to have males. You can just have females get an egg a day. Uh, but maybe in about two years you'll have to replace them because they they have a lifespan, a real short lifespan. But uh, from what I hear, uh, around two years before they stop laying eggs and all that stuff. But but uh, just an easy to uh, easy to raise bird. I think they should be on any little homestead or any big homestead. Quail is a super, super easy bird to raise. We love them to death. But guys, we also love you guys to death. I appreciate the heck out of y'all checking out our videos. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments below. I love to interact with you guys. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. We're going to let you go. See y'all on the next video.